Gina. Join Rick Legina and other members of the team in the war room, where they have gathered to meet with Scott Clark. I found, I believe, significant information that really strengthens uh, the idea of there being silver in this area. Interesting. Scott is a 33rd degree Freemason who has traveled from Toronto to share information regarding the possible origins of the Oak Island Mystery. Scott is presenting a theory about the William Phipps uh, salvage of the Concepcion treasure. And why it's so intriguing at this point, of course, is because of the silver from the water sampling we've done in the money pit. Yeah. So, Scott, please proceed. Okay, thank you. So, as you just mentioned, uh, many people are actually familiar with William Phipps' discovery of the Concepcion back in 1687. But we know that Phipps found silver on the Concepcion, and I believe some of the treasure from the Concepcion was secreted to Oak Island. Very interesting. There's no question about that. Built in 1620, the Nuestra Señora de la Pura Olympia Concepcion was a 600-ton galleon that served as the premier ship in the Spanish fleet to carry plundered riches from the New World back to Spain. But in 1641, while transporting more than 100 tons of silver, Massachusetts Bay Colony, embarked on a salvage mission financed by British royalty. In January of 1687, he located the wreck of the Concepcion. Utilizing indigenous free divers, it would mark the first of perhaps several missions that Phipps made to salvage the sunken treasure galleon. When it was brought back to England, the treasure was weighed in at over 34 tons and valued at about 205,000 pounds which would be 50 million U.S. dollars in today's currency. <laughs> that is remarkable. Yeah. Uh, Phipps himself received 11,000 pounds, or 2.7 million in today's money. And Phipps was knighted by King James and treated as a hero in London. It's very big news. Yeah. It was the recovery of that treasure off the Concepcion that he bought his way into higher society. Phipps, yeah. Yeah, I mean knighted. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, so he was pretty important. Yeah. This is about the time when Captain Andrew Belcher comes into the picture. He was to become the assistant of the newly knighted Sir William Phipps. Captain Andrew Belcher was a wealthy merchant and Freemason from Cambridge, Massachusetts, who helped to shape cooperative relations between the American colonists and indigenous tribes. However, according to Scott Clark's research, he also aided Sir William Phipps in his subsequent efforts to salvage the Concepcion. So in September 1687, Phipps returned to the wreck of the Concepcion, and during the second expedition of the treasure, Phipps brought back to England was only valued at 10,000 pounds. He literally found one twentieth of what he found the first time. He came back with less than expected, right? Much less, yeah. 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 And he was there for eight months. He was there a long time, so they were expecting more. Right. Okay, so uh, this is where my first discovery comes in. I basically found a 1688 letter that shows that Captain Andrew Belcher was caught with one of Phipps' ships in the Mahone Bay area at the exact time that Phipps was coming back from the second attempt, where he allegedly officially did not find it much silver. The letter also states that they burnt the ship at Port Robert, which is very close to Oak Island. I strongly believe that Belcher and his comrades were actually transferring treasure from the Concepcion to be taken to Nova Scotia. So, this brings me to my second discovery, which I think is the most interesting. I discovered this map from 1701. Basically, I've discovered a literal treasure map created 320 years ago that strongly appears to tie the Concepcion treasure to the Oak Island area. Oh. 